Unit Nine: A Gripping Guide to Ghost Month, August Sixteenth. To immerse yourself in Ghost Month activities, add Jilong's parade and releasing the water lanterns, add Tu Chung's Ghost Grappling Festival to your must-see list. The parade, held on the 14th day of Ghost Month, began in 1856. A few years before, eleven of Jilong's rival families had clashed over land, business, and religious customs, leading to some family members' deaths. Eventually, a truce was negotiated, and the families agreed to work together to honor their dead. Nowadays, the family's descendants organize the parade. In which they carry large, elaborate lanterns shaped like houses through Jilong streets. When they reach the water, the lanterns are lit and pushed out to sea, offering the good brothers a safe abode. The Ghost Grappling Festival takes place on the 29th night of Ghost Month. This festival is meant to be a reflection of the hardships Chinese immigrants faced when they settled near Ilan. This area frequently experienced natural disasters, war, and disease, and many who died there had no family to perform funeral rites, leaving them unable to reach the afterlife. To honor these wandering spirits, twelve teams participate in the grappling event. The team members compete to be the first to reach the top of a 13-meter-tall greased pole, where one team member. Must swing himself onto a platform and climb another 30-meter-tall tower. The first to capture a red flag is declared the winner. While these are Ghost Month's most famous events, there are plenty more to take part in. This Ghost Month, take the time to visit a temple, make an offering, and honor the dead at one of the many celebrations around Taiwan.